Welcome to Version of Let's Play Farming Simulator 2013 on Central Kansas. All right, we got a couple things going on today. First of all, we got our field is ready to be planted. If I go to the right tractor, as you can see, we, I finished harvesting the rest of the field and it's ready to be planted. Now, luckily for us, our current cedar is a cultivator as well, so we'll be able to use that no problem. And we'll be able to fertilize our fields using this. Now, the funny thing about this, I'm not actually sure about it, is uh, how wide this spreads. Because I, I think I have a different version, so this might be for something else, but we're going to find out in a second. So it might be a little bit bigger than 12 meters. We'll see. Anyways, I created a course for course play um, to see how this would work. Now, one of the things I did a little bit different than I normally would do is I don't have this tractor driving all the way back to our uh, farm and then all the way back here. One, because this tractor is slow. And two, because um, once we get to other fields, it's going to get even further and further away. It's not going to be worth doing something like that. So this is going to be like the test run for it to see if it will work or not. Based on what it is, normally I would recourse a course. Normally I would record a course going back to the farm and refilling, but in this case I set it so it will come to the uh, come back to the first point and then it will come over here and just kind of wait there at a waiting point if it runs out of fertilizer or seed. I don't know if it will or not, but I'm just kind of curious to see whether or not it'll work that way. So we're going to give it a test. If, I don't think it will, mind you, but we're going to find out regardless. All right, let's just see. So we're ready to go. Let's set it to fertilizing and seeding, first point. Uh, everything should be good. Let's just see how this how this works out. Now it should be fine, but I'm, I'm, I am kind of curious to see how big this cedar actually is. Uh, not cedar, fertilizer, sorry, because I think it might be larger than it was meant to be. I think it's, I think it's not like 12 meters. I think it's like closer to 20 meters, something ridiculous like that. Mainly because it is meant, I think, for a different fertilize, different cedar. Oh no, oh, that's the right size. This is good. So that should work out perfectly then. This guy should be seeding a lot slower. Wow. There we go. That's more like it. Jeez. So he's going to do that, which is good. So he should be okay. Now, if he does run out, uh, if you can see, uh, where is it? Oh, well, there's a wait point like right here. He'll stop and he will wait right here if he runs out of fertilizer or f fertilizer or seed. I have a feeling he'll run out of, fertil uh, out of seed first, but we'll see. Uh, did I make him so he's planting corn? I didn't even look. Oh, phew. That would have been embarrassing. We can't even harvest anything else other than corn right now. <laughs> That would have been funny. Anyways, um, so what we're going to do is we're going to let that guy do his thing. And uh, I think what we're going to do is... Yeah. I think once it he's done, I think we'll do it as maybe silage. I don't know. Do we need money right now? We kind of do need money. But not that much, actually. We're kind of set in a nice space at the moment. So we'll have to see uh, where to head off to. Now, how much is this field down here? This is, I have a feeling this field, uh, uh, this field seven. This one's like half a million dollars, if memory serves. Yeah, half a million dollars. So all the fields are pretty expensive. So we will need to make this, we will need to step up our monetization game quite a bit, just based on this alone. Wow, that's crazy. How's he doing? Good. Looks like he's doing well. It's just a question of whether he's going to run out of seed or not. I'm, I'm kind of curious. I haven't set up. I haven't set so he does a headland around the field. So we'll see how that plays out. Anyways, uh, let's hop into this guy over here. Apparently, I just left him at the tipping point. Now, the funny thing is about this particular uh, belly dump trailer is that it takes a lot longer than I thought it was going to take to unload. Um, surprisingly, actually. So I thought it was going to be like a quick little, yep, dupe, done, that's it. Like the corn husker, but no, it's uh, a lot longer than that. So, 
How much corn do we end up with anyway? 70,000. More than 80, about 80,000, 89,000 corn from that one field. It's not too bad. Now, uh, I think what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get started with pigs right away. Might as well. No point of waiting at this point. Um, because they will be able to make us a good amount of money uh, when the time comes. Now, the, I'll be able to sell some of the pigs eventually, but for now, it'll be a nice source of income. Well, once it gets to that point, at least. I feel like there should be a tarp or something, or I can put a tarp over this. I don't know why I think that, but nope, it's not C, Ian. Why do you keep hitting C? No. Well, I thought you'd be able to put a tarp over. It looks like you can. Maybe you have to walk out of it. Is there something you have to do? Like, here's a handle right here. That would be cool if you could just, you know, hit something right here and put the tarp over, but I think that's just for looks. No, that's unfortunate. Nope. Oh, well. I don't see any other buttons it wants me to press, so... Anyways, let's go sell this corn. Uh, where's a good place to sell corn? Uh, corn. Are the butchers? No. Elevators. Freight yard. Looks like the freight yard. Now I just need to find out where the freight yard is. Alright, so what I'm going to do is going to give some of this corn to our pigs right away. Just to get them started. And then we can sell our pigs. The only thing I don't like about the pigs on this map is that the way you have to load them into your trailer is the same way you had to in the other... Um, what map is it? On the Glamalure farm, you have to load the pigs out that way too, so... Uh, see how slow that is? Uh, let's start them off with just 2,000. And we'll start both of them off with 2,000. This seems like something you would do with a tipper rather than what I'm doing, but it works, so. 2,000 here as well. There. Should that, that should give them... Uh, that should be a good start from them. I think that'll pop it up to about 60% or something. Pretty high anyway, so. Um, so there's that place I was looking for the last episode. It was right there, those bunkers. So I'm going to go ahead and fill up the rest of this trailer again. Might as well keep it topped off, and then we're going to go ahead and sell it at the freight yard. And now I need to find out where the freight yard is. Oh, I, did I do what I think I did? Yes, I did. <laughs> Every time. Wow, is that really all of it? Oh, I think it's just the way I went into that. I was going to say, I'm like, there's no way I'm out of corn already. It's just the location. All right, the freight yard. Uh, where would the freight yard be? Is this the freight yard? Where is it there? Hmm. Does it say on the map? No, it doesn't. And I don't think there are signs for these things. Let's just go take a jaunt, I guess. So that's definitely not the freight yard. That's definitely for sugar beets. And I think this is the grain elevator over here. So let's go take a quick peek. So I don't know why. On this little strip of this little strip of pavement right here, it goes super, super slow. And then once you get past it, no problems again. I don't know why you go that slow there, but you definitely do. Um, and then eventually you speed up again and there's no problem. But just that one little spot, it's like, okay, time to go slow. No idea why. All right, so this actually has a sign up. Good. <clears throat> Let's figure out which one this is. Because this is a cell point here, and I guess I could have just looked at... This is the elevator, so the freight yard is not here. Okie doke. And it says Kansas elevator. So, let's head down here. What the heck is that? Is that for your wool, I guess, maybe? Must be. Anyways, let's get back in the road here. Uh, so, that's not where we need to go. 
What's the other place that has a great demand? Sugar factory? Sugar factory, so that's not where we need to go either. So, let's head down here. So that is the milk place where you can presumably sell your milk if you want to. Uh, that's the other farm I was speaking of down there. So this must be... Wow. Okay, well, this must be the, uh, the place we're looking for right here. Apparently these are windy roads. I can't drive them very well. All right. And I don't know why. I have to figure out why. I think it's. Just, I think it might be just the road that was used because they slow down quite a bit. Like I have it on, you know, uh, the third uh, cruise control or third gear cruise control, and there's like it should just be, you know, no problem and go as fast as possible, but not so much. Oh, that is a sign. What does that sign say? 20th Street. That's definitely something they do in the United States. I don't think we have any streets like that in Canada. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, I don't know why, but just one of those things where uh, we just don't. I don't I, maybe we do, and I just don't know about it, which is entirely possible, right? Um, there are lots of things I don't know about. I'm not the be all and end all in terms of uh, in terms of everything. Although you get asked some funny questions being a teacher sometimes. You get like. Uh, People think you know everything about everything, and they'll ask you crazy questions sometimes. Like, I teach English, basically, is what I do for a living. And I get asked some questions sometimes that, about French, because I teach English. I don't understand the logic behind that, but I guess they figure, well, obviously this guy knows English, so he must know French too, so people ask me French questions sometimes. Not very often, but you know, every now and then you get asked a French question, and it's like, really? Why, do, why, why would you ask me, an English teacher, about French? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it's the maybe it's a language thing. They're like, oh, you obviously you know about languages, which is true, I suppose. Well, it is true. Can't say I suppose about this at all. What is this place? Garden center. Garden Center, Canola Refinery, Butchers, Elevators. This doesn't look like a freight yard though. Maybe this is the inn? That looks like an inn to me. There it is. Horseshoe Inns. We're not looking for the Horseshoe Inn. We're looking for... We are here. Maybe it's up there then. Well, it's a good, it's a good thing to find out these areas. Because once you find them out, then you can just easily set things up to do, uh, like, because it's such a big map, I'll probably end up setting up course play to do things like, hey, here, go here, do this sort of idea, so. Freight yard. So that's the inn. That was a place where we could... Hmm. We could sell stuff there. What's this down here? That looks like another sell point. For what, I don't know, though. See, now we're on open land, or open, uh, I don't know, call it, open land, open road, I guess you might want to call it. No problems. But there's certain roads that'll slow you right down, and I have no idea why. But they do, for whatever reason. Does this look like a freight? This looks like a freight yard right down here. It could be one. It's a little it wouldn't make any sense for it to be in a a valley like this. If it was a freight yard, it'd make more sense if it was out of a valley. But I guess if it's if it's for trains, it would make sense, I suppose. Well this is kinda cool actually, look at this. Little phone area there. Got some gates. Now what is this place? This is like this is one thing I wish all maps had. Signs. Yeah, this must be the free yard. Well, signs saying which direction, but. Rapsh Bile Diesel. So this is the Bile Diesel plant then? And it, that means it won't accept my. This must be the canola refinery then. Why does that look like a. Hmm. 
Well, so that's the biodiesel plant. This won't be accepted here, but we can drive through it at least. If it is accepted, I'd be surprised. Yeah. Well, I believe corn is made in a biodiesel as well, I think. Uh, okay, so that Zucker and Raffine, that's for uh, sugar beets. Not helpful for us, though. And what's this other place in the back? That must be the freight yard, I guess. Must be? Yeah, there's a train there, so. Uh, there's no road that connects this. I'm just going to go in the front door. Only because... Uh, front door. I'm just going to go in the, the entrance way just to see if it has a sign. Just makes my life easier so I can identify it, whether it is or not. Wow, that's weird. Why is there a huge bump there? Maybe this is done on purpose? I don't know. Alright, so there's also a place where you can store stuff here as well, it looks like. Interesting. So consider this an exploration episode, to a certain extent at least. Just because I don't know where everything is quite yet. Um, but once we do know where things are... Good. Yeah, there's no sign here though. I can only assume this is the freight yard though. There's a train right here that goes off into a tunnel. But I don't want to assume these things. Okay, so this must be the freight yard. So we've eliminated canola refineries right there. Elevators is off close to our farm. The inn is south. So yeah, this is the only other place it could be then. And what was that? Ugh, why do I keep doing this? You'd think I'd figure this out by now. Wheat. Butcher's elevator sugar refinery. Alright, so. Let's just sell this. So we're at $36,000. So like I said, even though this is a belly dump trailer, it takes a lot longer than I expected it to unload. Like, we're only at like 15% unloaded now. To believe it or not. So let's just check on this guy, see how he's doing. Like, it takes a long time to do that. Oh, 61%. Okay, maybe we will have to refill then. I could set him to go faster, but realistically, 6 miles an hour is pretty fast for seating. For the most part. Like, I know, I believe John Deere just came out with, I think it's 10 mile an hour seater. Uh, planter, I think it is. So, that's pretty good considering, but... Uh, anything like anything super quick would be well. This is quick already, I think, with this size of rig, I imagine. But maybe it's not. I don't know. I'm not an expert. I only go off what I know, and I don't know much about seating, to be honest with you. But I have asked around, and I know John Deere just came out with a new seater that does 10 miles an hour, I believe it is. So six seems quick enough. So yeah, he's still unloading that um he's still unloading that, that that tipper basically see i don't know why it takes forever to unload that belly dump tipper but i'm cool with it why is he missing that little streak right there weird see this is one of the interesting things about this is um if you don't have this on the back of it, it won't do that turn you just saw. It'll do like a weird trying to back up turn. It's really odd. Um, for whatever reason, that's what it tries to do. But, whatever. Yeah. Uh, he'll get those last little bits around the outside once he does his headlands. Maybe he will run out. Holy cow. I was not expecting that at all. Jeez. All right, this guy seems to be done, and I need to go back to this guy because I put that. I gotta remember about that. I don't know why, but I keep hitting. I'm gonna change this to a different group <laughs> because every time I hit Control Nine, which is like my to switch groups, I continually put the uh, handbrake on. This seems like this particular area seems like it was an afterthought uh, with a road like this right here. It looks, yeah, it looks like a bit of an afterthought. Maybe it's just me, I don't know. Anyways, we got 50 grand now, uh, which is pretty darn good. So we can head back to the farm and see how much corn do we have left. Uh, nope. 
27,000 liters. I think we'll leave it for the time being because it's kind of far away. But we did identify basically all the cell points, which is good because that allows us to uh, move things along rather quickly. So this is our main farm down here, and this is the cell point we were just in. And apparently there's a huge grass area right there you can pick up. And right behind the BGA here. Oh, nice. Excellent. Now, the one thing I don't know about this trailer is what everything it can carry. I think it actually says what it carries, but there's always something that... Uh, I don't think it carries mixed rations. Let's just see. No, it doesn't even say here. Well, that's unfortunate. It's a cool trailer. I know it carries the standard fruits, and I think it carries a couple other things, but the fact that it doesn't say in the information is slightly annoying. I may end up editing it. Well, I guess it's a grain trailer, though. Technically, you wouldn't put... That's true. Darn, I hate it when I'm right sometimes. Alright, let's bring this back to the farm here. I feel like I need to have a shed, like a drive through shed somewhere here. But for now, I think this will do here. Just park this in the, the shed here for the time being. I do love the, the way this truck looks. Maybe it reminds me of Optimus Prime or something. I don't know. I don't. Even, I don't. I'm not even sure what type of truck Optimus Prime was. I think he was. He looked like this. I think. I'm not an expert in Transformers. So let's just say that. I liked it when I was a kid, but I definitely did not read as many comic books as there were. There are definitely way too many of them for me to read them all. Well, I suppose I could go back and read them, but you know, it's one of those things. Let's fire this guy up here. Yeah, this truck looks way better on the inside than the other truck the Chevy did. Alright, let's clean up the yard here a little bit. Don't know why I just left this here. And, actually, one of the things, so, if you mentioned, if you recall, I mentioned about, um, not transporting things, but I mentioned about not driving all the way back to the farm and refilling. So because of that... I actually went out and looked at, went out of my way to find a mod that would um, cover my bases, uh, just in case. Like I found a cedar, well, it refills your seeds, and I found one that refills your fertilizer as well. So I, I have that mod. It's, it's a small trailer. It also has fuel on it too, which kind of just kind of makes this truck a little redundant, but. Oops, that's not an exit. Uh, but here, let me just show you too. It's not very exciting. It is the... It's in tippers, if I remember right. Where are we here? Tippers. Uh, there it is. Crone service trailer. Not very exciting. It's the standard one you find in-game. Uh, but it's got fertilizer seed on it. Um... It is an it's it's you no know, it's not a very fancy trailer, but I would at some point uh, like to get into picking up these in Hydra's bulk trailer, so I could use this as a way of transporting um, and hydrous and hydrous back to um, our fertilizer. I think that would be kind of cool, actually. So I'm uh, planning on doing that eventually as well. Could use this one, but. Uh, eventually, not right now. Anyways, I left the trailer back of the shop. Let's go pick that up. Let's go pick that up. What do we got here? I think we left a couple things back at the shop, actually. I don't know why, but I think, for whatever reason, I think this truck will look kind of cool with, like, two stacks on the side here. Might be a little overkill. Might be the fact that I grew up in a small town, and that's what I used to see a lot of, so... There we go. Let's grab the trailer here. Nice wide turn. Probably should drive a bit slower with it. It's funny, this truck speeds up really quickly, so when you have a trailer, it just, the trailer will just fly all around over the place. But eventually, we don't need this at the moment, obviously. But we will need it once we get uh, transporting a bit further away um, from our farm. Like, we're... <laughs> like, for our setup... Where it is right now is pretty far away already, uh, considering. 
Uh, so once we get to, uh, well, let's put it in the other place. This is not going to work there. Uh, once we get to um, like a further away field, then we are most definitely going to need um, this transport trailer. And the funny thing is, I'm the reason why I have this one is just because I know it works. Um, there is one that comes with the S690i, which honestly I have not tried out yet. There we go. That should be good. Let's go take a quick peek at how our cedar is doing. I think he's doing his headland now. Let's go take a quick peek. So the nice thing about this map is it's pretty level, so driving around this truck is no problems, but uh, no problem. But if you get like a bumpy, if you get bumpy terrain, um, this truck doesn't always work as well as as well as it should. Oh, crap, it's gonna be good. But just the way it is. Let's just pull off to the side here, so we're not in his way. Excellent. Yeah, looks like he's doing a good job. Not too bad. I, it looks like the textures are actually a bit different on this map. Um, I don't know why, but the te that texture looks really good. Uh, it might just be my imagination, but I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Do you think that texture looks better than it usually does? To me, for some reason, right now, it does. So, how's he doing? Uh, he may or may not need a refill. I don't know yet. I'm kind of waiting on that trailer just in case. Because I think he may need a refill. I don't know if he's going to run out of... Uh, he may run out of seed. I don't know. It's hard to tell. There's no, like, fill meter for both of them. It's only, like... Only a... I think there's actually a mod. Let me just... I think it's load status, I want to say. That might actually tell you the loads, the amount of each. So I'm pretty sure it's still seeding. Yeah, we're still good. But it's hard to tell. He's getting down to the wire at this point. No, not quite that much, but... The problem is he'll still cultivate, probably, and he'll still fertilize, so I don't know when he stops seeding. That's the problem. So it's either one or the other. Which is kind of interesting. It's kind of like, well, is he going to stop this or do this? I don't know. I wish this inside this tractor was a bit more high res, but. Or looked a bit less textury or pixelated. But it is a pretty darn cool tractor, regardless. Gotta admit, like, you know, if you're running a, a big operation and you got not very much money, there's a high probability you would have a, a homemade tractor like this. It's possible. You probably wouldn't be pulling a uh, $120,000 piece of equipment behind it, but... Well, maybe you would, I don't know. Maybe you would. It's hard to say. Alright, he's got, what? One more pass? Yeah, he should be fine, actually. What does the beacon look like on this thing? Well, that's interesting. The beacons apparently don't do anything. Maybe it's because it's hard work or... Yeah, he's got one more pass, and then he is good and done. Excellent. Excellent. So he's planting corn again. So I think what I'm going to do this time around is going to do uh, a bit of the corn as silage and a bit of the corn as... Hmm. That corn only gave our pigs 20%. Interesting. 20%. Uh, I thought I gave it more. I, for some reason, I thought it was more than that. Weird. Water, and we need some straw, too. We can do... Well, we can check out water, actually. What trailers do we have for water that might work in this circumstance? I'm going to try and avoid the same one I got last time. I could do this. But this is tiny for this enormous farm. Um, what else do we got here? This... And what else? I think they have one or two more. There's this one, which does 15,000 liters. And there's that's more realistic. Um, oh, wow. I guess they don't have that many options. I thought I had more options for some reason. 
Let's just double check here in tippers. Maybe I have something in tippers I'm not paying, not, I'm not remembering. Uh, well, there's these, but I don't know if those will work with, uh, I don't know if they will work with my truck because for whatever reason, these Quaco trailers, while they look really cool, they will not play nice with some trucks. Uh, they'll like, when you go to turn, what will happen is the, uh, the trailer will like twist and turn. It's really strange. Like turn in the wrong way. Like it'll, um, how do I describe it? It's like when you see a truck, when you see a truck, or a tractor, leave a tractor pull that twists the whole frame twist. That's what it looks like a little bit. It's strange. Yeah, I guess I don't have that many options. Hmm. Well, that's not worth it. And that is. Hmm. I could use this. I haven't used this since. Oh, I don't remember actually. Maybe I will use this. I think I used it on the newbie farm, I want to say. Alright. So he is going to do his headlands right now. Excellent! Excellent. So I think I'm going to stop the episode there for now, folks. What we'll do is we'll come back, we'll do a little bit of silage next episode. Uh, we'll do a little bit of silage. We will do a little bit of feeding the pigs, making sure they are up to snuff. What is he doing? Oh, he's doing the headland. That was a really random way of going about the drum. <laughs> the field. Jeez. Um, we'll, de we'll deal with the pigs, so we'll make sure we get them some, at least some water. We can't do anything about the, the, uh, the straw at the moment. And we can't do anything about the... I guess we will need to get a mower eventually. Jeez. Uh, well, we could actually... Do, let me just take a quick peek. We do, could get the Kid Forge Harvester. Uh, because the Kid Forge Harvester would deal with um, the grass easily. And we could make silage out of that as well if we get into cows. Yeah. Well, okay. We'll, we'll deal with that next episode. Alright, so for now, that's it for today, folks. My name's Ian Rops, and this has been Farming Simulator 2013 on Central Kansas. I'll talk to you guys later.